Now then, hobbyists. Previously on RC So and So. From time to time, wheels fall off. Usually when you least expect it. Anyway, so we can get the big Kahuna Burger lunchbox back up and running, let's fix this. Step one, let's break out the Tamiya tool set and get this part that's left on, off. As you can see, we have the rubberized bearing still on, but it shows here clearly that the inside has just sheared off. These wheels have been a pain and a proverbial since I got them. On eBay, they were advertised with tyres, and they looked mint. I had to chase the guy three times before he would send them, and when they finally did arrive, I noticed that one of the tyres had been completely split and glued back together again, presumably from this hub. But, as you can see here, quite clearly each of the wheels have been curbed. I think the previous owner must have been a rep used to driving around in a Vauxhall insignia. To avoid any future issues like this, I opted for some brand spankers. Technically, they are midnight pumpkin wheels, but I do like the silver rims. So, at this point, I should be just banging on the new set of tyres, but not this time. I am going to enter into the debate. Should you use foam inserts with a lunchbox? Many forums seem to have plenty of supporters and naysayers. My point of view is I have never used them before on my lunchbox and it always lands very nose heavy. So I thought, let's investigate. On eBay, you can get four inserts for £10. I went to the range and bought this high density foam block for £3. It's about an inch thick and if I plan it well, I can get multiple wheels from it. So what do we need for this job? Well, I'm going to use a steel ruler, a pen, a piece of string, and some sharp scissors. Our first job is to measure the depth of the wheel, so we know the width to cut it at, and we use the measurement to mark the foam. It is wise to put multiple marks down to help you cut it straight. Now, I do have a tailor's tape somewhere, but for now, rather than trying to measure a cylinder with a straight ruler, we wrap a piece of string around this and then measure the string. This is mistake number one. I did think of this before I started, but then completely forgot about it. The foam is an inch thick and I forgot to factor this in. So the first one I cut was too short. I should have just added an inch to the measurements and used maths, but I didn't and I decided to measure the outside of the tyre just to make sure that I could still use the same side that I'd already cut from already. Turns out that I still had plenty of length still to go, so I cut this strip off and decided to measure it in situ, seeing this would be the first one. As it is for a wheel, and to stop it from warping the tyre at the joint, I cut it on an angle, mainly because these are also sold like this, but again, this is just an experiment. I must admit though, it is more like bucket science than anything else. Once I knew it was the correct size, I used this as a template, and I marked three more to use, and then I marked a fourth and labelled it lunchbox, in case I needed to replace one in the future, or make some more for one of the other lunchboxes that we have in the crew. I then put a tyre on a wheel without the inserts, just to test the squidginess without the foam inserts. And it is squidgy. Next, it's time to stuff the tyre with the foam and put on the wheel, and again, test for squidginess. It was less squidgy, so I guess that's a good thing. So it's time to add this onto the lunchbox. This is where I realised mistake number two. I had used a back wheel instead of a front wheel. So to save any headaches, I thought I would do all four wheels and then add them. The other reason I thought this was because not only had I done a rear wheel first, but I'd also done a rear wheel for the right hand side of the van. Now, I did glue the tires, but you only need a couple of drops. If you put too much glue on them, if you ever need to do a job like this in the future, it's a right pain and it can be a very messy job and you may have to even replace the tyres. A point to mention is, I do see an awful lot of people putting lunchbox tyres on in the wrong way round. 
it's a van, not a paddle boat. So just remember that when putting the wheels back on. As you can see, once the tyres are on, the tyres don't seem to go as flat as they did beforehand. So I'm keen to test this and I will do soon. I have lots of foam left, so I can make as many inserts as I need. But I will have to figure out what to do with all the offcuts. Maybe I could use them inside shells. I'll experiment. So you don't miss out on further videos and similar nonsense, please like, feel free to comment, definitely subscribe, press that bell shaped thingy to be woken up at all hours for further content. But for now, that's your lot.